In this video, we are going to talk about Sparkline. Sparkline is a graph which is small in size and high in data intensity. Sparklines depict trends and variations associated with sales revenue over a period, average temperature, or stock market activity in a very simple and condensed manner. Sparklines are a new feature in Excel 2010. Sparklines are also good at showing fluctuations. Each sparkline highlights the highest and lowest value with a marker. The worksheet drives the message home by indicating the exact minimum and maximum numbers in the cells. These cells get their numbers using the max and min formulas. By now, you must be wondering how are sparklines different from normal graphs. Sparklines are intended to be concise and precise, memorable, and located in a cell as defined by the user, whereas typical charts are designed to show as much data as possible and can be placed anywhere in the sheet without any cell reference. So let's look at an example to better understand sparklines. Let's say you want to be able to insert sparklines for this particular data. So, so go ahead and click on insert. In that, next to charts, there's something called sparklines. Click on that drop down and go ahead and select line. Another dialog box will open. From this window, you can select the range as well as you can specify where you would like the sparklines to be placed. So I'm going to click on data range to specify the data range. I'm not going to specify the headlines. I'm simply going to just specify the entire data range. Then I'm going to click on location range and I'm going to specify the entire location which will be all the way from F28 through F3. And now I'm going to click OK. As you can see, sparklines have been introduced. Let's say you want to be able to change the color style. You want to be able to mark high points, low points, negatives, and different colors. Maybe you want to change it to a column chart. So we can do all that in here. So go ahead and click on Design tab, which will only be introduced once the sparkline chart has been introduced, and only if it is selected. In that, there's something called show. So if you want to show the high point, you can check this. If you want to show the low point, you can check this. And if you want to show negatives, you can go ahead and click on that as well. Let's say if you want to show first point, you can click that last point as well. If you want to show all the points, go ahead and click on markers. Let's say you want to be able to change the color of the negative points. So under style, there's this particular icon. In that, there's something called negative points. Go ahead and change the color to, let's say, black. And if we want to be able to change the color of markers as well, we can do that from here, or the color of any other points from this particular icon called marker color. If you want to change the width of the line, you want to make it thicker, then you click on something called sparkline color, and then go to weight, and go ahead and select any weight. Now let's say you want a column chart. So under type, go ahead and click on column, and the chart has been changed to a column chart. If you want to change it to a win and loss to better show the negative points, you can do that as well. Go ahead and click on marker color, and let's say change the negative points to red, so it'll change all the negative points to red so that they stand out. Now let's say you want to be able to plot this from right to left instead of left to right. Imagine your quarters were placed from quarter 4 through quarter 1 instead of as what it is right now from quarter 1 through quarter 4. That could easily be done in Sparklines by simply clicking again on the Design tab. And in that, under Groups, there's something called Access. Once you click on the drop-down, there's something called Plot Data Right to Left. If you check that, then your entire data has been swapped. Let's say if we look at Walmart, so it's plotting 52 first, then 41, then 45, and then 44 instead of the other way around. If you want to play around with the axis, let's say you want to be able to show axis, you can go ahead and do that from here as well. Let's say you want to change the data of only this particular spark line, that is Walmart. So you don't want to select the data from these cells. You want to be able to select it from 
certain other cells. So go ahead and click on that particular sparkline. Go to the design tab. Under sparkline, there's something called edit data. Either you can click on edit group location and data. So if you click on that, that means the entire data set and the location of sparkline could be changed from here. Or if you click on edit single sparklines data, then you can go ahead and change the source of this particular sparkline. Now let's say you don't want to view these two sparklines. So again, go ahead and click on the design tab under group. Click on clear drop down. And in that, there's something called clear selected sparklines. So if you click on that, these sparklines would vanish. Under clear, let's say you want to clear all the sparklines. So once you have clicked on any of the sparklines, go to the design tab under group. There's something called clear selected sparkline groups. Go ahead and click on that. All these sparklines have vanished. Hope this was useful. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.